You know how it is when <laughs> when we get to running after certain things and after certain people? Come on, man. We all have been there. You know what I'm saying? We want to be in. We want to be down. We want to be recognized. We want to be acknowledged. So what happens? So we attach ourselves to certain individuals, certain organizations. You know what I'm saying? And we're hoping that God is going to bless it. We're hoping that it'll turn out favorably for us. And when it doesn't, we want to get mad. We want to blame everybody named Mama. We want to blame God. Oh, God, why you didn't tell me? Why you didn't show me what was going on? And whole and the whole time it's because, yo, you out here making grown-up decisions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You out here doing grown-up things. So check it out. When things don't go your way or they don't go the way that you was hoping they'll go, you got to pay that grown-up price. Y'all ever heard that saying, be careful who you attach yourself to, right? Or who you hang around, you know what I'm saying? Be careful, uh, uh, you know, of, of your friends, of your circles, right? You always got to know those who labor among you and those who surround you, right? It's important because if you don't, you can find yourself in a world of trouble all because you're associated with the wrong folks. We see it all the time, right? You know, folks that... They, they, they're down with certain groups they're attached you know they attach themselves to certain organizations and when something goes down or when something happens then they find themselves in a world of trouble even if they weren't even around it's just guilty by association right so it's important who we attach ourselves to who people see us around and in groups that we affiliate with whether it's it's tangibly personally in the real right physically there or whether it's online social media you know whether it's through word of mouth you know maybe someone took a picture someone took a video we always have to be aware of who we're around and who we attach ourselves to because who we attach ourselves to is the name that we're going to be associated with and we always want to be associated with people that are have good rapport and good names because the things that follow them and that are attached to them will also attach themselves to you too. You don't believe me? Go hang out with some of your friends. Especially if if <laughs> you know if they little if they little out there, little little wild, little ratchet, you know what I'm saying? Go hang out with some of your friends and some of the people that you know, that you are associated with and let something go down. Let something get recorded. Let something get back. And all of a sudden somebody points out, Ooh, did you see so and so? You'd be like, who, what, where? Man, they was in the video or they was on TV or they was, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so said they saw them at the spot. That's the last thing we want. That's the, the total last thing we want. Because now you got to do all this explaining. You got to go through all this commentary. You have to come up with all these different excuses and reasons why so-and-so did this or so-and-so said that. You and I are not so-and-so. But we got to give an account for things that they said or things that they did. Because why? We're attached to them. You know how things look real good in the beginning, right? The right words is being said and, you know... And the right vibe is, is, is coming through. And, you know, after a while, when you get a chance to really peep game and you see what's popping, then all of a sudden things don't seem to be lining up, right? Things don't seem to be on the up and up like it was said to be or like it was expressed. And then when that happens, then you start questioning the person's motives and you start thinking like, wait a minute, you know, are they a keeper of their word? Do they keep what they say? Why? Because I was told one thing, but now all of a sudden I'm seeing something else, right? It was told to me that this was going to be done, but then yet and still it never takes place, right? And I'm the one that, that, that gets done wrong, get done dirty. I get to show it in the stick, but I have to give an account. I got to give a, and a reason, an excuse of why things didn't happen the way it was told it was, it was supposed to happen. I had nothing to do in the planning. I had nothing to do in the, in the, the strategy of it all. You dig? 
I was just told, hey, this is going to happen and this is going to take place. And so then when I show up like I'm supposed to and it don't happen and it don't take place and people start asking questions and they start looking at you like it's all your fault. You know what I'm saying? Like you were the one that put all this together. You dig? And you sitting there like, wait, hold on. I, I had nothing to do with this. But because you are associated, you get blamed. You get triggered. You get targeted. You're the one that has to come up with the reasons why, right? They don't want to hear, hold on, let me make a phone call. Let me get back with you. I'm going to get that information. They don't want to hear that. If anything, they want to know, why are you even associated with these people? Scripture is coming out of uh, the book of Acts, chapter 8, and the 29th verse, you dig? And it reads as such. And the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near, and join thyself to this chariot. I read it again. Notice what it said. It says, And the Spirit told Philip, it's the spirit telling you and I, or are we doing stuff on our own? Go near, right? Not you telling you to go near, not me telling myself to go near, but it's the spirit that is leading us and guiding us and, and directing us, right? It's the spirit that gives us unction. It's the spirit that gives us strength. It's the spirit that leads and guides us and the spirit is the one that tells us to go near. It's the spirit that tells us who to attach ourselves to, who to join ourselves to, who to fellowship with, who to partner with. It's the spirit that tells us who to join ourselves to. You dig? And join thyself to this chariot. See, God is a God of specifics, and he will be very specific with us to tell us who it is that we're supposed to join, who it is we're supposed to help, who it is that we're supposed to attach ourselves to, who it is that we're supposed to join in partnership with. Okay, the Spirit will tell us, will show us who we are to join and attach ourselves to. That's in business, that's in relationships, you know, that's in a uh, uh, career, that's in uh, um, marriages, you know what I'm saying? The Spirit will lead us. That's in uh, ministry, churches. The Spirit will lead us who we are to attach ourselves to. So we ought to take note and stop attaching yourself to any and everybody. Yeah, it may look good and it may sound good, but is it spirit led or is it your flesh? Or is it you heard through the grapevine, oh, this this could be, you know, something really solid or this could work out or, hey, you know, I tried this and it worked for me. So I'm just letting you know you might want to try it because it might work for you. Not if God ain't told you, not if God ain't led you, maybe God led them, but he ain't led you to go do that. So again, let's make sure that we are hearing the voice of God that we are listening to the spirit and that we are attaching ourselves and joining ourselves to the right chariot to the right ministry to the right people to the right you know woman of God or man of God to the right financial institution let's make sure we are joining ourselves and attaching ourselves to who God tells us and not to who we just think is beneficial, who we think is, is creme de la creme, who we think got it going on. Because we can be fooled, right? We can be fooled looking at other people and looking at stuff and looking at this and looking at that. But are they being led by the Spirit? Is there any anointing on their life? Is there proof and evidence that shows that God has called us to be attached to this person? or this organization, or this company, or this platform. You dig? Let's be led by the Spirit. Now, it's a whole different thing, man, when we didn't, when we really want something. We really desiring something, right? We didn't pray on it. You know, we search, searching, and we seeking, and we looking, and then all of a sudden, something happens. A door opens. You know what I'm saying? A way is made. Somebody comes and finds us and says, yo, man, I heard you was looking for, or yo, I heard you was asking about, and they got the answer that we need. You dig? And so, in those instances, 
we have to be, you know, we have to be prayed up. We got to be looking, you know, our eyes has got to be open for, for the opportunities, you know, for those open doors and rooms and tables and chairs and windows. <laughs> you dig? We have to be looking for those things. We have to be, you know, earnestly, we have to be honest with ourselves, where we're at, what it is we want, and how it is that we desire God to help us. You dig? And when we're sincere and faithful in that thing, trust me, it'll work out. God will send someone around with just what you need. Someone one will come along and be like, yo, man, I heard, or yo, you know, I got unction in my spirit. And it's all because who we attach ourselves to and who we, you know, um, join ourselves with. When we're rocking with the right group, with the right people, blessings will flow, right? When we're rocking with with the with the organization or you know uh uh the group that we're supposed to be in your gifts will make room for you you know um there'll be a need for you even if it's in in the way of serving or giving there's a need for your and my service for your and my giving right there's a need for your and my info or expertise there's a need for your and my hands to put to the plow. There's a need for your and my speaking up forward. You dig? There's a need. We have to find out what that need is. Not necessarily to jump just because someone wants us to or someone desires us to, but when there's a true need, right? That's when we ought to move. And how do we move when we know there's a true need? Because the Spirit will tell us. The Holy Spirit will let us know, yo, I need you to go over here. Yo, I need you to go talk to this person. And we'll be like, God, really? Like, why? Because I have need of you. There's a need. Yeah. And so we have to be open and willing to be able to meet that need when we've been assigned to it. A lot of things, we'll just pick up stuff. Ain't nobody told us to pick that up. Ain't nobody told us to even, you know, deal with that thing. But because it looks good to the eye. And it feels good to the flesh, you dig? And it's something that on the inside of us we already desire. Then we'll go after that thing or we'll attach ourselves to that thing and it'd be the totally wrong thing to do. And then we wind up paying for it later and want to complain and want to cry out to God and want to be mad and you know have our panties all in a bunch. Why? Because we did some stuff outside what God told us to do. We attach ourselves to certain people and certain groups that we weren't even supposed to have no dealing with. And we've been dealing with these people for a long time. God didn't open doors. He didn't make ways of escape. He didn't directly told you, cut it off. But we think it's a flash. We think it's us. We think, oh, that's so mean and so harsh. And, and would God really just want me to cut somebody off cold turkey like that and just walk away? It, yes! We the ones that don't want to listen. But yes, God would have you do that. God will have you walk away when it's not beneficial for you. God will have you shut something down when it's causing sin in your life. What if it's not causing sin in your life? But it's causing unnecessary weights. It's causing anxiety in your life. It's causing stress in your life. Cut it off. That is not God's desire for us. That is not his will for us. You dig? The next time somebody say, yo, yo, man, why don't you come over here and check us out? You dig? Why don't you come over here and get with us, man? We doing things. We going places. You know what I'm saying? God is blessing over here. Make sure that you've prayed about it. Make sure that you have sought God. Make sure that you have fasted. You dig? Because you do not want to attach yourself to somebody that's going to bring you stress and anxiety and it's going to be hell on earth. But let's attach ourselves to godly people let's attach ourselves to people that are flowing and operating in the spirit and let's only and I say this again, let's only attach ourselves to who and what God says. You dig? This is your man LaVon. Yeah, I just want to come on real quick and just hit y'all with that on this Monday motivating message, right? And just, and, and just motivate you 
Let's be careful who we attach ourselves to. Let's be careful who we join ourselves to, you dig? Because we want to be love and light. We want to be prosperous. We want to be healthy. We want to be anointed and blessed. And we can't do those things if we're attached to the wrong people, organization, you know, to the wrong things, to the wrong spiritual uh, entanglements. Let's make sure we're being led by God, you dig? This is your man, LaVon. Don't forget LaMela E. Love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten, you dig? Please share this video. Please like this video. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you're always notified whenever I upload content, you dig? And I'll see you in my next video. One love.